the channel and welcome to one of my I think I'm part three of this a fortnight's grocery haul for my main shop so if you don't know I normally shop a main shop in the first week of a fortnight then a top-up shop in the second week this time around it's a little bit different because I haven't been over the last few weeks I haven't been shopping my main shop as I normally would I've been doing bits and pieces and I've not done some top-up shops as well I've kind of left that so I had extra money left over I have had extra money saved specifically to go to Costco so I've done that um, and so I had a budget for groceries this week of a thousand dollars doesn't mean I'm gonna spend a thousand dollars but that's what I had a budget of so let's see how I went at the end of this video total on how much I actually ended up spending. So I've already done a part one, which was a big Costco shop. So definitely have a look at that. Part two was me going to um, Coles, Woolworths and Aldi just for a few little things I couldn't get at Costco. And then part three was another Costco shop because I went back with another friend and I kind of had time to think about what I didn't get the first time and decide whether I really wanted it or needed it for the next one. So that's what I'm showing you right now is I'm showing you guys exactly what I ended up getting um, in that Costco shop. All right, so this is what I've got this time around from Costco. I'll tell you the uh, the price at the end, like the total, um, and how I'm going with my $1,000 budget. <laughs> so basically when I went this time, I was just, yeah, thinking of things I saw last time that I didn't get and I had to think about, do you know what I mean? For example, these hot chocolates, which I'll talk about, um, the muffins. I also, in that first shop that I did with Costco, I bought this, just one, to try. Brought it home to see if everyone liked it and we loved it. So we bought another one. It's a lemon and blueberry loaf. It's just basically like a cake, obviously. But my plan with this is to cut it up, wrap it and freeze it and have it for like school lunch boxes and work lunch boxes and things. Um, it was delicious. This is only $9.99 and it's huge. Like it was so, so yummy. It's nearly one kilo. Um, the other things I got were... I got the chocolate muffins. There is one missing because I gave one to Michelle to try because she <laughs> she couldn't decide whether she'd get this deal. So it's $12.99 for two packets. So what's that? $6.50. Is that right? Yeah, $6.50 per pack. And you're getting, I cut them into quarters so that you're getting like 48 mini muffins basically for that price. So it works out really cheap kind of nearly cheaper than me making as well like i'd have to use my normal recipe and see how i go with that maybe i'll do another video in comparing but for the convenience of this like it works out like 20 cents a muffin basically like per quarter so it's a really good buy and they are so fresh and so yummy because they're made on the day there which is great they have other flavors but i just wanted chocolate so i got the two deal <laughs> They did used to have this 12 months ago, two for $10. So it has gone up quite a bit. But I guess with the cost of ingredients and stuff, that's probably why. I did get this ham. It looked really good. Um, it doesn't look like there's lots of grainy bits or anything like that. I basically wanted this to do up freezer sandwiches mostly. This was $7.49, but it's a 500 gram pack. So it's not like the Aldi one, I think, is 400 grams. Um, so there's a little bit extra in each one of those. I didn't think that was too bad for the price at all. Um, and it looks good. It didn't look slimy at all, which was really, really good. Like not watery. It looks yum. So hopefully that one's good. I was happy with that. This was new for us. $21.99 for nearly two kilos of these chicken tenders. I'm very specific when it comes to all the chicken stuff on how much chicken is actually in these things. The Woolworths one's quite high. I think it's like 55%, so that's actually quite high. This one, when I looked at it, 65% chicken, so that's good. And then you've got your crumb and your wheat and your flavors and all of that kind of stuff in them, um, but that's pretty good. So these are great to have them in the freezer for, you know, different times during the week for dinners when, say, Johnny and I may be having like, I don't know, steaks or pork steaks or something, and the kids might not necessarily like that. I'll cook them tenders. Also, I can make parmigianas out of these as well. Like we do quite a few things. We can cook them up, put them in wraps, that kind of stuff, salads. So we do like having them in the freezer. So we got that. And like I said, it's nearly two kilos, 1.8. It's not too bad. I got my bagel deal, which I'm so happy about. $11.99 for two packs. I think that's a little bit more than I used to pay. The bagels there are huge, like they're massive, um, and you get six in a pack as well. 
there's plain blueberry and there's like a seeded one and maybe an apple cinnamon but I'm not keen on the apple cinnamon so um, I just got plain because Isabel loves bagels for breakfast. She can't even eat a whole Costco one, so she eats half a one um, for breakfast in the morning. So they tend to last us a fair while. I actually put these in the freezer. I cut them in half, rebag them, put them in the freezer, and then just pull one out to cook in the toaster when the time comes. Isabella too, well, she just likes it like this. She doesn't even like it cooked. So, um, yeah. I got these just because we really like them. Um, I got hundreds and what was I hundreds and thousands. This big jar I contemplated oh, about six months ago when I went, and I was annoyed at myself that I didn't get it because I've been buying so many sprinkles since then. This whole jar though, which is one thousand one hundred and fifty grams, is uh, I think it's nine ninety nine. I think it's just on ten dollars. So that's a really good price if you use sprinkles a lot like we do. That's a good one to have. The tomatoes, these were, what was it? 11, no, hang on. Yes, 11.99 for this one kilo pack. We go through so many and they're usually 200 gram packs for the, like the grape size ones or shape ones. So how many is in this? So that's five packets in here. I usually pay $5. So I normally pay $20 for five packets. So that's really cheap for us. I've made sure I bought ones that had, you know, a bit not so ripe in there as well. But honestly, the kids will go through this easily, easily, probably in about a week, maybe a little bit over. They love them. They'll have them in their lunchbox. They have them at dinner time with salad and stuff. So, um, yeah, that was a good purchase for me. We contemplate strawberries because strawberries were, I think, 1.2 kilos. I think that's what it was. I can't remember the size, but it was $20 but it worked out the same price as what I would get them at Coles at the moment. Only because Coles have them on special for $4 a punnet. If it was two weeks ago when they were selling strawberries at $5.50 a punnet, it would have been better to go to Costco. But because it was same, same, I didn't get the large one. I got these muesli bars just for something different because see how they got chocolate on the bottom as well. Now these were... $16.98 for six boxes. Michelle and I already tried one each. <laughs> they were delicious. They're really yummy because usually muesli bars in Australia, they're just kind of, you know, your oats. Um, but the muesli bars that sort of are in Costco that I guess come from America maybe, I don't know if these are American or not. But definitely like those granola bars, they were the same. These are very much like that, but they've got more chocolate on them. These have like a rice puff through them. So they're very, very nice. So I got them just for something different, honestly. Otherwise we buy the Woolworths cheap $2. I think it's like $2.50 for the box. Um, I'm trying to see if this was, oh no, this is made in New Zealand. So these are a New Zealand product. These were very nice though. I really like them. I've never seen these ones before. So they kind of caught my eye and yeah, I'm happy I got these. I think like if you want to mix up flavors, obviously you'll get other things as well. But for us, this was a really good purchase just because we wanted the chocolate and it's got extra chocolate on it. So it's yummy. I nearly forgot. I actually got, you know, your Dagwood dogs. I love these things. Can you see them? I love them. I get them from Costco. There's quite a lot in here. 20. There's 20 in here. And it was $14.99. I got them, I think they might have even been on a rebate. So they might be a bit more expensive normally, but they were a bit cheaper when I went to Costco. I love them. If you've ever had, see, this is what they are. So they're like a hot dog in batter, basically. I love them. I cooked them in the fryer. They're a nice little snack. They're in here because we actually had some for lunch. And then I just popped them in the freezer out of habit. Deodorant, I got this for Johnny. Um, this was $23.99. It's a sport one, 72 hours, Rex owner that he uses. He normally buys this at the supermarket. If it's on special, a can will cost him, he said, between five and six dollars. So this was a better deal, obviously, for what, what did I say it was? $23.99. So four, so four dollars a can. So that's a really good price. Um, it was expensive, like it was a big part of the shopping chunk, obviously at $24, but it was worth it because of how much Johnny pays and how much he buys it because he does buy it a lot. One can will last him just over one week, I think, maybe two weeks. So this will last us a fair while, um, but it was just yeah, a better price, obviously. And noodles that we love, the Mega Range. So we buy the ones at Coles and Woolworths. They're only a five pack for $3.95 now. So they're expensive. So in this box, there is what six packets worth 
which would be four sixes, $24. That would be $24 if I bought them in the regular supermarket. This box here, there's 30 packs and it is, let me, it has gone up $16.99 for this. It was much lower than that, it was around $12, so it has gone up, but it's still so much cheaper to buy. So at $16.99 instead of $24 for the amount, we love it. So whenever we can find this, we grab it. This was amazing. This was $11.99. Now the actual, it had a $4 rebate. So I'm just trying to find the price. So yeah, it's normally $15.99, um, but I paid $11.99, but there's 60 packets in here. I'm excited to try this because I think it's definitely hot chocolate, but I think it's got marshmallows in the packet as well. So I thought this would be great for everyone, especially me at night when I want to have a coffee, but I don't want the caffeine. So just to have a hot drink um, and the kids, the kids will get to drink it too. So yeah, I'll let you know how this is and whether it's pretty good or not. But um, yeah, I just, I saw it in someone else's video to be honest. So I thought I'd give it a try. I spent a total of $172.37. There were some things that were quite pricey, for example, Johnny's deodorant, but that's something we're not going to have to buy for quite a while. Hopefully one can will last him at least two weeks, um, but it was definitely cheaper buying it like that than him buying it when he buys it, because even on sale, I think he said he spends between five and six dollars, so it was definitely cheaper getting the six pack. That was really good. Um, but yeah, I am going to insert a little video here once I calculate how much I actually spent over the three shops and tell you how I went with my $1,000 budget. How much did I end up spending? Um, but otherwise, yeah, definitely head back onto the channel and have a look at the uh, two other grocery hauls that I've got for you guys to see what I did get. And yeah, so next week is supposed to be top up shop week. Um, I, I don't think I, my budget for that's normally $50, right? So I don't know how I'm going to go with that because I probably, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to need, to be honest. I'll probably just need extra fruit, fresh and extra fresh fruit and veggies, um, some milk and bread. You know, that's probably it. So come back next week and see how I go with my top up shop. But after that, I will be reverting back to my usual budget for a while. So definitely, you know, keep an eye on that too. But here is what I actually ended up spending total for the week. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you probably tomorrow. All right, so big question. Did I spend $1,000? Did I spend over? Did I spend under? Let's see. All right, so I actually spent, so first grocery shop at Costco, I spent $478.87. The second day that I went grocery shopping, I did Coles, Woolworths and Aldi and total there was $123.03. There was free money in that, but I've just made it as the total is including that free money. Free money as in... Um, I had rewards dollars from Woolworths and I had flybys dollars. So I got away with not actually spending physical cash. Um, so yeah, that was $123.03. And then the third shop, which was the final Coles shop, uh, not Coles, Costco shop, was $172.37. So total spent is $774.27. So I'm well under the $1,000. I'm glad that I'm under the $1,000. Um, it's better to be under obviously I wasn't sure how much I was actually going to spend at Costco which is why I had such a large budget um, but yeah I'm happy with that so obviously not something I do often to have a budget that big I never do that I have a very strict budget so if you guys want to come back and see um, how I normally work my grocery shopping and how I'm going to work in Costco in the future into the shops and things definitely subscribe to the channel definitely come back and have a look at that and yeah see how I do everything all right guys that's it for me today thank you so much for watching and I'll see you probably tomorrow